नमस्ते वेलकम व्यूअर्स थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन दिस इज शिवांश फ्रॉम इलेवन सिंक विद द यूनिवर्स इलेवन टुडे आई हैव बीन गाइडेड टू यू नो दिस इज ट्रूली डिवाइनली गाइडेड रीडिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेडिटेटेड ऑन द कार्ड्स एंड आई विल इन इन अ शॉर्ट वाइल आई विल गो थ्रू दिस एंड गाइज आई हैव दिस ह्यूज डाउनलोड दैट Uh, something is coming full cycle you know and uh, something is coming to completion you know it's like uh, it has run its course uh, whatever it means for you in your life and i have been getting this nudge and uh, got got this calling that i need to do this reading it's just three uh, card uh, three card reading okay uh, for all each signs uh, on this all right and there will be a uh, time stamp you can go to the time stamps uh, straight away uh, and uh, i will be short and crisp in uh, reading each of the cards uh, all right and i would like to tell you friends that um, uh, you see uh, when i have just started to shuffle this card uh, came out that it it it, it must be dealing something with uh, the seven of swords something that was like a uh, kind of sneaky thing in your life uh, betrayal deceptive uh, wearing a mask you know was causing a lot of pain so possibly uh, if it relates to you mm, so uh this could this is a collective energy okay what i am reading right now i'm i'm just going through the downloads and the nudges that i'm getting and i'm trying to you know that's the reason i'm trying to keep the ambience uh, today kind of a bit dark you know it's like dark uh, around however there is something that is coming to light are you getting me what i'm saying uh it's more like this after every dark cloud there is a silver lining all right so sun energy is going to play a huge role in your life guys all right so uh something big is coming to light uh, you know which will take you to a new direction altogether i mean this is more like that uh the first inning of your life has come to an end and now you are getting ready with the uh, with the full energy uh to jump into the unknown you know take that leap of faith hold the hand of the divine and charge ahead all right and there is no stopping so this is that kind of an energy that i'm feeling so i have this nudge that i need to cut the deck and i cannot just uh, you know drain my energy with the downloads that i'm getting and i will just go uh, you know one after the other all right uh, zodiac wise whatever comes my way not going by the sequence okay so uh, this is going to be for aries all right okay aries uh, what i see is that uh, this is uh, the hangman this is the victory card and this is the judgment so what i feel for you is that aries something that uh, you have been hanging on to for so long and now uh, it has come to its uh, turning point where uh, you are going to get the ultimate uh, nudge from the universe the ultimate judgment call when everything will bring into illumination whatever has been hidden from you for so long uh, there are certain areas of your life that was not healed uh there is some open wounds everything will be taken care by the universe universe has your back and you are seeing everything in a much positive light right now and look at the um uh, the light that is falling on the card and this is going to bring a lot of um uh, triumphant moments in your life where uh, you will feel victorious uh, you will feel um, really you will feel like a victor within like a warrior you know as if like it's like a new birth for you to be be honest after seeing everything clearly the way it is uh, whatever it means for you in your life okay whatever it means for you something is coming back from the past if it could be related to relationship or anything like that uh, some reconciliation uh, forgiveness um, Apolo uh, apology uh, reconciliation commitments uh, there are certain things that is going to take place in your life that will take you by surprise for sure after a, after a tower moment however this is going to bring a lot of um, happiness into your life whatever this is going to be 
you it is going to take you by surprise for sure one thing and second thing is that um you know um uh, you will get a new outlook to seeing your life all together going forward all right it may take place in six days six weeks six months uh on and possibly you are seeing the number six one two all right or uh, 63 or 36 like that okay um this is what i feel for you if you are seeing a lot of uh, 2020 that's a confirmation for you okay or uh one two two so if you are seeing one two 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 or one two two that's a confirmation for you all right uh something big has to do with uh six seven eight nine nine number uh nine is the like that's what i'm telling you nine nine is a number for you where you are almost there you know about to break that cycle and jump jump into the unknown territory all right so this is what i get for you aries all right uh, i hope it resonated for you and um this was this reading was more like in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit and that's the that's how i got the download and that's how i'm going uh, with the cards all right so um, please 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 bear with me now let me see what i get for taurus Taurus, fast in your seat belts, you know, something tangible coming your way. That's what I feel. So, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Absolutely, with the Knight of Swords, something is coming very fast towards you, all right? Um, yeah, this is a fast moving energy towards you uh, this is not something like um, kind of going to create a dra drama because uh, the father has the entire uh, craft in his hand you know up under his sleeve if we talk about the divine divine has a big role to play in your life you see and there are three people trinity right uh, and it's in the middle card and with this fast moving energy what i feel is that with this five of wands the struggle the pain the trauma dilemma doubts confusions whatever it means for you you were going through uh finally uh you know there is some uh, craft going on behind the uh, screen all right uh, which is uh, which you cannot reach consciously right now but you get some nudges you know that it is coming to an end this struggle uh, this kind of uh, wounded kind of an energy is going to go out of your life and it is going to bring certain amount of clarity into your life because when this person knows how to hold his sword up it cleans everything right this is the kind of a work going on and during this process taurus you have a lot of uh, things to clear from your thought space okay from your uh, life space in general and from your uh, way of acting as well all right so there are a lot of things that you need to do certain kind of cleaning all right and that's what i feel Okay, I'm just going by the downloads that I'm getting and uh, this is a really, really a very fast moving energy coming towards you, which will take you by surprise. Something is working behind the scene, which is not clear to you, uh, but sooner or later, uh, you will be out of this uh, five of wands kind of an energy, the struggle time, all right, the fight, the quarrel, the argument, the wound, uh, everything is going to be taken care of. It will be healed. You will be illuminated through that. Okay. So let's see what we get for Gemini. All right. Okay. I'm being asked to cut the deck. Name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It feels like the Gemini's. You, uh, you. It's time for you to hallelujah. Let's see what cards. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Justice. Father in heaven has the entire charge of your life, my dear, beautiful. Absolutely, Gemini. Absolutely. Don't. My goodness. My goodness. If this is what not uh, card says, then what says, I truly don't know. You see, uh, ace of sword. Uh, I mean, two aces out of three cards. Two aces, you see. Two ace. Uh, ace of swords. Ace of Pentacle and Divine Justice. 
you know what some kind of truth is coming to light for you gemini and this is going to absolutely like uh, pick up your life i mean uh, uh, to make it simple and crisp for you divine justice is coming for you which is much which has been really really delayed for a long time and this is going to be a ultimate divine justice towards you with the current plenary transits so this is what i feel for you gemini that uh, divine uh, justice is coming towards you which is going to bring um, ace of pentacles something tangible that you can feel touch see you can live with uh, in the 3d reality this is something that you truly have manifested in 5d and it is now coming into play in 3d for you will take its a shape and form in some way or the other in your life and this has to do with some kind of truth that is associated with it that means when this is coming towards you it will come through a bigger cycle than you can think of that means you have a finish of a cycle some truths has come to light which is going to bring a new stability into your life and this divine justice has been long overdue for you and now it's coming to uh, its own uh, 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 time of uh, there is something you call expiry date you know for everything there is an expiry date right even for god also god will also not keep you hanging into the same cycle the same patterns right god also has a duty towards you to bring justice to whatever uh, uh, god also feels that you have been uh, um, uh, you know um, manipulated with right i mean people uh, did not do justice with you all right so this is what is coming towards you my dear beautiful gemini uh, along with this justice you know your long perseverance this is overdue let me put it this way long long time perseverance whatever it is you know uh, it's like patience to its virtue you know like you have reached to that climax yeah kudos to you for that uh, you have paid a lot of karmic debts. Uh, you have finished off a lot of karma, uh, soul bonding, soul ties. You have finished a lot. I mean, if I tell you, when you step into this reading, you are empty. If that makes sense to you. You must be feeling like, I have nothing to ask anymore. I mean, like, you will, you are feeling content within. But you are here, uh, hearing me out right now to get a validation. Are you getting me what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. So this is your validation, uh, Gemini. If you are feeling uh, some kind of a nudge within, just go by your guts. Listen to your intuition. This is the time, you know, you feel like giving up, but don't give up. Hang in there, you know, hang in there. In the next 11 days, guys, if you are seeing one, 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 it is four times one. So if you are seeing one, 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 that's a confirmation for you, for the divine justice and two aces, all right, which will... Uh, absolutely feel every void in your life that you have been feeling for so long so let's see cancerian what your card has to say in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen all right uh, i gemini it was amazing reading for gemini honestly stay blessed guys may god listen to all your prayers that's what i can say okay cancerian in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Am amazing, amazing, um, amazing. Uh, Cancerian, what I feel is that, um, you know, uh, with this cards here on the table, uh, if you see, I'm just creating a space. And uh, yeah, I mean, I have not done it in the last three, but I'm doing it for you. What I feel is that, uh, Cancerian, uh, something, something is uh, been assorted in your life, you know. There is something inside you that has taken full cycle, you know, uh, with this world card, has brought some kind of illumination where you are seeing uh, some hopes within you. You, When you tap into that inner child within you, you listen to the small, small nudges that you get from inside, uh, my dear beautiful Cancerian, that brings a spark within you with uh, some creativity, you know, some amazing thoughts, some random thoughts that's, that really looks like that dream manifested you know uh, uh, you will feel like that kind of deja vu at times and this is the kind of an energy that what what i feel that is associated with your uh, security family money with this ten of pentacles you see all right 
So, uh, can, uh, Cancerian, what I feel is that with the current, current planetary uh, transit, you are going to see certain things uh, from a different perspective altogether, which will bring a lot of creativity inside you, a lot of spark inside you, a lot, lot of passion, drive, thriving, you know, like a kind of go, 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 you know, this kind of, this is energy, I mean, world, uh, this never stops, you know, it, it's like uh, the moment you learned your lesson, you'll have to start implementing, doing your karma like that, you know, so this is something like this, something is coming full cycle in your life uh, with the recent uh, Saturn going direct, which is going to bring a lot of uh, stability in the near future for you with this 10 of pentacles you will have a wonderful uh, family house money health wealth happiness everything will be there for you and this will start with uh, this small small nudges and the passion the drive that you are feeling inside you okay so don't discount your guts at this point of time or your random thoughts pay attention to them and write it down all right so that's your energy cancerian so let's see what i get for leos see i did not get a chance to um shuffle the card it in in it jumped out of the deck and i saw the card knight of swords so it feels like that uh, leo your energy is kind of restless a bit mm -hmm. if you are seeing a lot of five 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 that's your confirmation that yes you are restless and you are looking for a way out and that's the reason reason you have been drawn towards this uh, reading so nothing in this universe is a coincidence you know you are divinely guided to hear leos you need to get some guidance all right let's see what we have for you anything that is causing you restless magician in the name of the father the fool in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Holy cow. Look at that. This is what I was telling you. You are feeling restless, my dear beautiful Leos. Uh, because the energy that you have. I pulled up three cards, guys. No joke. In front of you. Right? So, uh, with this full card. I mean, new beginning, come on, three major arcana on the dice, a new beginning awaiting you, new horizon awaiting you, new everything is waiting for you guys, uh, which is going to bring magic into your life, you know, magic. You know, something that you can truly touch, feel, see, smell, stay with, leave. You know, you you are coming into that power, you know. The moment you take that leap of faith, you turn out to be a magician, which will always bring illumination, light to yourself and to others. I mean, divine is going to work through you in a different way altogether. And that's the reason you are really, really kind of... Um, uh, kind of uh, not scared, you know, anxious. Yeah, you are kind of anxious. That is what is creating some kind of restless kind of energy. I mean, like uh, you are at a situation right now, you know, that uh, it's like, you know, that thin ray of hope that you are hanging on to and you will fall down anytime. Something like this. That's the reason. You know, because something that is waiting for you ahead in the near future is the fool, the magician, the sun. Come on, guys. This is no joke, right? And when this kind of energy comes towards towards you, you will definitely feel uh, that, uh, that attack in your energy, right? You will not understand from where this is coming, whether this is an illusion or it's real i mean you will not be able to distinguish and uh, this will definitely for sure take you for uh, for a ride right anxious restlessness paranoia and this is because of this because something big is awaiting you and divine is uh, you know this is the father card right in the name of the father as i say the middle card that's the reason i'm doing this card like trinity kind of a thing in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit so it's like Holy cow, this is what is coming your way, man. Uh, amazing. Congratulations. Something big is awaiting you, guys. In one day, two day, um, uh, zero days even, you know. Even zero days. Anytime soon, uh, you know, something turn out to be magic for you. And you'll feel like, damn, I manifested it. 
or am I just dreaming or is it actually happening? It will be like this. Something, uh, something that is, you know, uh, will be hard for you to believe. Let me put it this way. Magic. Believe in magic, my dear beautiful Leos. You know, when you believe in magic, that's when you you actually see them coming true. And I believe, uh, I truly live my life like that, you know, like a magic, you know. Every moment is worth living. So I live every moment of my life like there is no tomorrow. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I, you know, accept this energy. Let this energy uh, come, embrace you, hold you tight. You know, this is the divine energy that you are getting, you know, that is uh, taking you by surprise, holding your hand and taking you to a different dimension altogether you, where you will be working like a superhuman, you know, which will, which uh, through, through you, God is going to work for the uh, collective, for the mankind. And I would not doubt if this pile of cards are the uh, 144,000 choosers and one twin flame soul made light walker star seeds this is what the kind of an energy that i'm feeling possibly i have tapped into their their energy because i am also among the 144000 uh, light workers star seeds twin flames all right so I absolutely tap into their energies. That's why if you see my reading, they are not a typical kind of relationship kind of re readings. They are mostly like soul evolution lesson kind of readings. All right. You will have always a lot to learn. So you can look my other uh, tarot card readings as well. So guys, kudos to you, my dear beautiful Leos. Something beautiful is awaiting you. Uh, possibly this will take place the moment when you are hearing me out. Whenever you get this message, that's the right time to get the message okay that's when your zero day uh, may start or that's when your 24 hours start one day right that's what i told you so congratulations in advance guys and keep sending your positive energy if you want to manifest this reading for yourself then you'll have to be positive all right only positive attitude uh, can bring positive results towards your life okay so i have been asked to cut the deck and let's see what messages i get for the gemini or oh, sorry uh, for the virgo all right virgos let's see you may be dealing with a Gemini because I happen to see, I mean, I did not do any mistake, uh, but in your reading, I'm doing this mistake. So possibly there is something that you need to hear, Gem uh, Virgo. See, again, I wanted to say Gemini. So you may be dealing with a Gemini, let's say in the name of the father, what it is, uh, right? The son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, Gemini. See, again, I'm saying Gemini. I am very sure, Virgo, you are dealing with a Gemini, your counterpart or your karmic ties, whatever it is for you. But, uh, you know, this is creating a lot of uh, kind of nightmare, you know. This card truly, I mean, uh, I don't like this card to be here. Uh, that too in the name of the Father. Because if you are vibing in this energy, then the divine is also uh, like kind of restless somewhere, right? Because we are the divine being too. So if his child is unhappy, uh, paranoia, fearful, doubtful, full of illusion, suffering, in pain, then the Father in heaven will also be in pain, right? So this is what I'm trying to tell you. You see, all these uh, candles, you see, they are so dim, but this is burning so bright, right? Uh, if you go back, you will see everything was like kind of uh, very good. But only in this reading, this is what I'm feeling. And I'm getting so much of chill in my crown area, you know, uh, with this um, two major arcana supporting this middle card, uh, which is the high priestess and uh, the magician you see what i feel is that uh my dear beautiful virgos uh you are actually you see it, this is what i'm saying you're very very restless all right um you are actually trapped in a lot of uh, illusion or probably i should say that you are truly not able to distinguish between uh that thin line between the truth and a lie that is in front of you are you getting me what i'm saying mm -hmm. uh, there this is a kind of a dilemma that you are in which is creating a lot of havoc doubts confusions in your life as to see what actually a truth is 
because for you whatever you have been thinking for so long the higher knowledge and the wisdom that you got from the divine all through this time that the hard work that you have put in to be that magician in your life you know every work that you have put in it is more like this uh, with this card you came to a point of understanding this uh, i mean questioning this to the divine that divine please tell me where i went wrong you know even though you know who you are even though you know that you have turned out to be a high priestess deep within you you know who you are you truly need no uh, validation from anybody with this high priestess if you are seeing 11 9 or 9 11 that's a confirmation for you or 1 1 1 9 you see so this is a huge confirmation for you 11 divine is playing a huge role in your life guys to bring an end to this kind of an energy that you have recently got. This is not an old uh, energy, to be honest, you know. Nine weeks, nine months at the max. Uh, this nine months possibly have been really, really kind of a roller coaster ride where you were like, uh, you you must have felt like every time you bring your, uh, uh, your the pieces of yours, you know, that was scattered in the beginning, I mean, every time you try to bring them together, it is again something uh, bam happens and it again gets uh, scattered, uh, you know. This is the kind of an energy that I'm feeling. And this time it is like it is taking you uh, big time. It is taking a lot of yours, uh, your energy big time that you, that possibly you might not have felt in in your soul evolution journey or dark night of the soul journey or while you were uh, evolving and growing and trying to liberate uh, during that time also, be it five years, three years, two years. Uh, was not that painful than what you are feeling right now that's what i feel but uh, divine is asking you to believe in your higher wisdom and knowledge and if tap into your heart space guys then mind space okay uh, there you will get to see the dot uh, you will be able to connect the dot and you will know that yes uh, you know it, it is like this no matter whatever the other world um the 3d people has to say uh, that uh, those lies or whatever it is all right but you know deep within that uh, the truth all right and uh, you just go by your intuition what your heart says uh, you know sooner or later everything will be illuminated to you uh, and you will be working like a magician in your life and people will see you all right uh, you you will be soon going to go out of this energy Virgos all right and this is possibly going uh, coming into your life through a Gemini that's what I feel because I kept saying Gemini 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 you know all the time um, that's why I'm saying that you might be dealing with Gemini so don't you go paranoia about everything you know uh, just believe in your heart space believe in your heart and you will be able to see the light and the truth okay you don't have to run after anyone so Virgo that's what I feel for you let me see for Libras all right Libras in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit all right ten of wands uh in in space of father uh, all right you may be feeling a lot of burden you know and universe uh, our father is coming and telling us that my child you don't have to worry all right everything is under control you can drop your burden now because i am in charge of everything and i'm going to bring every stability into your life okay you need not have to worry about any burden and this is going to bring a lot of joy and happiness and tranquility into your life with that victory card something is coming your way you know um that is um kind of take you by surprise will keep make you happy something long awaited uh victory that you have been uh waiting for and it is it is coming towards you my dear beautiful librans you don't need to worry which is going to bring a lot of uh, security into your life uh, you know somebody is going to probably propose you offer you that uh, you know ace of pentacle to you know settle with him or her however it works for you and uh, and uh, just just coming of these two energies into your life um, the knight of uh, the king of pentacles and the um, six of uh, wands 
uh, this is going to it this itself is going to lift this burden off your shoulder you know divine knows that the entry of this person in your life is going to uh, you know be just victorious moment for you and you will just know that i mean this will be dropped from your hand and this is what divine is telling you that divine is working at uh, at your back and uh, you don't need to worry you know you you can just relax take some time out for yourself nothing to be paranoid about uh, you know soon this will be lifted off your back okay soon some manifestations coming in your 3d reality that you have been dreaming about hoping for you know praying for longing for it is coming your way which will help you to drop this burden and that will make you feel victorious you know appreciated uh, you will feel um, you know worth yeah you know uh, somebody will make you feel that how worth you are for them you know this is what i'm feeling to be honest all right so uh, my dear beautiful Librans, uh, this is your energy and uh, let's see, let's jump into now Scorpio. I hope I'm doing everyone's reading, I'm not missing anybody here. I did Cancer, Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Libra, yes I, am need, I need to do now for Scorpio. I have been asked to cut the deck. All right, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I, you know what, guys, I truly never lie. And I'll tell you, uh, before I pull up the card, I was feeling the energy of the Virgo, uh, of the, um, uh, the, not the Libra, the Virgo energy. Uh, Scorpios, if you may be dealing with a Libra, uh, with a Virgo or Virgo, you may be dealing with a uh, Scorpio. Uh, however, it works for you or some way, shape or form, or maybe you have something in your chart uh, with uh, Libra or uh, Libra or Virgo or Gemini. Okay, because I'll tell you why. Uh, um, you know, in Virgo card reading, I got the card nine, nine of swords. And before I even pull your card, I felt that energy coming into your reading as well as if like something is coming to an end much awaited it's more like this let me tell you guys uh you know you uh you are dead even universe knows it that you are dead and universe will also not do something to kill a dead person right are you getting me what i'm saying I mean, you cannot kill a dead, right? That's already dead. I mean, that person is already dead and you will not be killing a dead body, right? So this is that kind of an energy. You are just done deal. You are just done with something. And uh, and in the Libra reading, I got the knight, uh, king of pentacles. And here I'm getting queen of pentacles. So, uh, you know, and, and at the same place, to be honest, all right? It is just one reading behind and you can see that and this is what I'm trying to tell you that you know something uh, is coming towards you uh, fast moving energy you know uh, going to speak the truth and only the truth nothing but the truth can now save you you just know this uh, you know uh, I mean uh, it's more like this nothing but the truth I will not bloody settle for anything less than the truth i don't care you don't give me anything i don't care i lose everything i don't care it's like you are in an energy of like damn care attitude it's more like what the heck i mean how much you will stab me uh, i'm already dead right keep stabbing me it makes no sense but in some dimension your soul is already out of this body and doing some uh, something to bring that uh, justice that stability that security that contentment you know something tangible that you can touch feel hear uh, fee, uh, feel uh, into your life right or else you just leave. I mean, it's no point leaving. It's more like that kind of an energy. And this is what I'm feeling that universe also know that uh, you are done. And uh, that's the reason something is coming very fast towards you, which will uh, lift you out of this energy, Scorpio. So you will be no longer vibing in this energy anymore. And this is going to take place in the next 10 days. And, uh, you know, if you are seeing a lot of 10, 10, then that's a confirmation for you, my dear beautiful scorpions all right 
and that's strange that this reading is going this way i mean i was not expecting this uh download and this huge energy to be honest guys i'm sweating you know and i'm feeling so so strongly connected to this energy i'm i'm feeling like uh, i'm connecting to a uh, to a, a very huge community of 144000 the chosen one the light workers the stars it's you know those people from those 12 zodiac signs i'm connecting to those kind of people to be honest you know that's why probably i was getting this nudge because we are going through a paradigm shift right now and this 144000 will be swept out all right from the evil of this universe and will be placed into a new world altogether all right a new world is getting created for us believe in that all right so we as 144000 the chosen one are in a mission all right so it is not a coincidence guys that you uh, you came up to this reading and you are hearing these words because i'm i'm getting this downloads crazy to be honest it's really really crazy all right so let's see uh, sage uh, what i have for you okay all right i'm just going by the nudges that i'm getting guys and uh, i was asked uh, if you were wondering why it is so dark out here it is just that i got this nudge today that uh, the entire uh, light of this room should be completely dark and there should be three candles and this three candles will represent something and you will have to do the reading because it's like this out of the dark there comes the light right so this is something like that some illuminations coming our way all right so let's see what the card has to say sage in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit all right two major arcana out of three cards uh, you know the fool card that is in the name of the father so uh, universe has your back my dear beautiful beautiful um sage uh, universe has your back and universe is truly conspiring some creating something new for you take you to a new dimension new territory new horizon new dreams new desires i would not doubt if you have absolutely going to be changing your complete profession to who you what you used to do and what you are doing now or you are going to do now all right so you are going to take a huge risk in your life by believing in the divine and which is going to take you by surprise your life is going to go uh, you know charging ahead moving forward all right you see every energy is coming towards you this is so interesting that you know i don't know why i got this nudge to keep just three candles and i cannot mess with them you see you know so this is like this i mean past present future probably it's something like this you know this is the kind of an energy that i'm feeling and uh, this is uh, the hermit card uh, what i feel is that these two energies the hermit the fool and the six of swords these energies are not easy to get right i mean until unless you have the entire wisdom knowledge then uh, then only you will be able to take that leap of faith believing in the divine holding the hand of the universe and jump into the unknown territory you for that you need to have a lot of higher knowledge wisdom research studies um, uh, you know exercises practice you know whatever you have learned you need to also put it into your day to day uh, exercises as an action to what you have learned from the divine right this is the higher knowledge that you have got from the um, uh, from the divine to how to be the full energy and you are absolutely taking that leap of faith and uh, that is going to really take your life uh, go march ahead move forward i mean towards the calmer water if you are seeing a lot of 60 all right um 60 that's a confirmation for you or a, or 06 or uh this is a 9 so if you are seeing a lot of 69 if you are dealing with a cancerian because cancerian number represents 69 so that that will be a confirmation for you uh with gemini you may uh, with aries uh you may be dealing with um with the air full card you may be dealing with an aries or a virgo however it works for you 
all right but this is an energy that i'm feeling that strongly coming towards you with this current plant realignments my dear beautiful uh sag your life is going to take uh, a new plan a new flight all right something new coming your way believe in the divine this card jumped out let me see the energy it's the page of one so yeah you are going to get some creative ideas as well sag believe in that all right uh, passion is going to work for you wonders so keep uh, you know focusing on the passion right now than anything else you know create something for yourself first and then you will be able to give out to the others right then only you will be uh, fully in the full energy uh, you know you will be able to um, you know uh, create something new for yourself right okay so let me see the energy for capricorn what our father son and the holy spirit has to say in the name of the father the fool you saw guys how much i shuffled and this is freaking crazy amazing look at this uh, just now i did the reading for sag and in the same place these two cards came out cap uh, you know if you're dealing with a sag or you have a sag in your natal chart uh, you know you are absolutely going to go uh, into a new dimension new world new everything new location uh, you are going to possibly if i if i'm not mistaken you may be a person who is going to take certain kind of a profession where you will be traveling around the globe and you know you will be creating um, you know magic for yourself that kind of a life that i'm feeling with this fool card with this um you know with this uh, six of swords uh, very um, i'll tell you why why i feel like that because of this uh, queen of wands look at the charisma you know she is a queen i mean this person knows her worth, you know. This person knows that she don't need any validation from anyone, right? This person knows who she is and she will create her... Uh, create or design uh, and bring into manifestations. She's a queen of manifestation, right? So she will do everything to carve out an ease for herself, all right? She is that kind of a queen. Excuse me, guys. Look, I mean, this energy is so strong that I had to drink water. Otherwise, mm, I generally don't drink uh, water during my reading, you know. I don't stop uh, while doing my reading. I just keep going, going, going. But this energy is so, so uh, powerful that, uh, you know, even though there is just one major arcana, all right, but uh, with this card itself, it plays a big role because she is the one who is going to take her life ahead, uh, vibing in that full energy. And when you completely surrender to the universe like this, you know, uh, to the divine, like a bride, right? that's when magic happens and this is what is happening in your life caps i would not doubt uh, with recent uh certain going direct in your own house this is what is going to bring this spark in your life everything you can manifest with your touch you know it's like this with your thoughts so keep your thoughts positive all the time but the more you keep thinking positive the more you will be able to bring positive energies towards you all right and you will be able to co-create with the universe and be that manifester so caps this is your energy uh, that's what i get from the trinity let's see uh for a curious all right, Aquarius. Recently, Saturn has gone direct, uh, you know, in Capricorn, and Saturn is also your ruling lord. So you can also expect some uh, karma returning to your life, uh, Aquarius. Good for good, bad for bad. And I hope that if you are watching this reading, uh, you know, uh, you have always believed in doing the right karma with ethics, morals, and principles and values of your life, right? Without hurting or harming anyone if you have kept vibing in that kind of an energy because uh, why i'm telling you this i don't know i'm just going by the downloads to be honest a curious is uh, an energy uh, representing the sword right sometimes if you don't know to use the sword in the right way it can cut your life into pieces right 
that's the kind of an energy that I'm talking about. If you have learned to temper that energy within you, how much to use, what to use, uh, where to use. Um, it's more like how to speak, what to speak, where to speak, because our tongue, it does not have a bone, but it, it has the biggest power in this universe to break anything, right? You say anything bad to somebody, it just can break somebody's heart, all right? Uh, if you speak so ruthlessly, then it will probably, uh, uh, you know, take somebody's life as well. So this is big, right? I hope you are getting me what I'm trying to say. So um, uh, with this current uh, di uh, Saturn going direct, I believe that you may be uh, getting some uh, karma returning to you. Good for good, bad for bad. But uh, as I told you, I try to focus in positive energies only. So let's see, a curious, what uh, universe has for you and I'll be pulling three cards in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. If you have Cancerian in your chart, then this is your confirmation that uh, either you have, uh, uh, you know, Cancerian in your chart or, yeah, it could be possible that your seventh house is uh, Cancerian, right? Uh, um, I'm sorry, not your your Capricorn. I th I thought I'm doing the Capricorn reading. So this is for a curious. So a curious, you may be dealing with a Cancerian, all right, or you have Cancerian in your natal chart, all right. This person, who whatever the situation is playing a big role in your life, only this has the power to uh, help your life move ahead, bring um, balance into your life, like this temperance, right? and uh, take any kind of doubts, confusions from your life. So what I feel for you is that, my dear uh, beautiful Aquarian, if you are seeing 7-7, seven, seven, then that's a confirmation for you. We have two sevens out here. And 7-7 um, um, uh, seven, seven is a confirmation for you. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is that if you add 7-7, seven, seven, that adds up to 14. And 4 plus 1 is 5 and 14 14 right 14 14 that adds up to 5 5 all right so 5 5 is a number of change and if you add 5 5 if you add all these numbers this number turns out to be 10 right 10 is a completion all right and uh, and if you reduce that number it turns out to be 1 right so 1 is the number of the source right we are one with the source. So what I feel for you is that, my dear Curian, if you are seeing 775 or 7714 or, um, uh, you know, 55 five or 10, all right, any sequence of number, those are your confirmation that something that was not clear to you in the past that was uh, putting you uh, in, in illusion, doubtful, paranoia, confused state of mind, uh, where you were having some internal conflict with yourself, uh, you were creating a lot of uh, havoc uh, into your life. Now something is going to really, really illuminate in your life, you know, whatever this means for you in your life. This may be through seven situation, seven person, uh, whatever it is, there plays a big role, okay, in your life. However, seven means for you uh, and um, and this is going to happen you know uh, that there will be some kind of balance the yen and the yang balance within you with two cards representing here right uh, with the 69 if you see 69 so if you are seeing 69 that's a confirmation for you all right something is coming towards you uh, you know which is going to bring a balance into your life my dear uh, Aquarian uh, this is poss possibly a long awaited um, uh, reward that you have been waiting for for all the hard work that you have put in uh, now you are waiting for some kind of balance into that situation you know which has kept you confused doubtful paranoia like that you know restless or anxious or curious kind of an energy now that is going to be balanced out within you you will get the light within your heart your body mind soul and you will be able to temper that energy and that's when magic will happen and the you will be uh, swept out by surprise with that chariot card you know 
if it is about love then uh, if you have been dwelling with uh, some kind of relationship struggle uh, with some confusions uh, or illusions then somebody is going to come and uh, take you by surprise and clear all your doubts and uh, that is going to bring a lot of harmony balance into your life into your heart space into your mental body into your physical body so a curious expect the uh, unexpected uh, something is coming very fast towards you with that chariot okay all right possibly in the next seven days all right that's what i am feeling that this energy possibly must be in the next seven days whenever you see this reading this is going to be a timeless reading whenever you see this reading that's the right time to get this message and that's why you are here right now okay nothing in this universe is a coincidence all you need to do is just believe your belief your faith creates your um, karma and your karma creates your destiny, all right? <clears throat> so let's see, my dear beautiful spices, what your father has to say in the name of the father and the son and the Holy Spirit. Oh my, my. Piscean, two pair of coins you are just like wow factor for somebody like kind of x factor for somebody it's like you are just i mean it's more like this if somebody sees you will definitely turn one time more to look at you i mean what did i see just now your Presence, you just being there means a lot to somebody, a group of people, your friends, family. Uh, you have come to a point where, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know that, you know, uh, people will even recognize you in a, you know, uh, in a PJ, in a, a PJ and a T-shirt, you know, in your house pajama and T-shirt, in still in a very very divine way, because. All through this time, you have stand with the truth. You have faced a lot because this queen is no joke, right? We all know. And coming into this power of being an empress, you know, be the co-creator. She is a queen of abundance, fertility, right? Uh, she is the co-creator of this universe. And uh, when she takes something in her hand, it's already a magic. She is a person now who knows how to use an ace of pentacle, who knows how to use uh, the ace of cup, who knows how to use an ace of sword and who knows how to use the ace of wand she has all the higher knowledge and wisdom of this universe into her kitty into her into her right and left brain and what she sees of her that's was what uh, the other sees of her too all right and when you are vibing in that kind of an energy, Piscean, of being an empress, of being a queen of swords, speaking, sticking to your truth, speaking your truth, not compromising an inch bit of anything, uh, you know, uh, that's when this is going to come. It's like two of cups, right? Two of cups, guys. Love, uh, union, uh, feeling of accomplishment, wish fulfillment, you know, romance, passion, um, zeal to live the life all over again, starting a second inning. If you are seeing a lot of 2111 or 1112, that's your confirmation, all right? If you are seeing a lot of uh, female uh, figures where, you know, uh, in any shape or form, uh, you know who holds the name then that's a confirmation for you uh, i'll tell you about me okay i mean whenever i used to feel like that i'm going through the uh, own my my own experience whenever i used to feel like that most of the time uh, you know out of the blues uh, you know uh, oprah her um, um, video used to come in front of my eyes and i used to look at her or my favorite actress like uh, sushmita sen you know so uh, are you getting me what i'm saying so if you are seeing that kind of photographs who probably some kind of an idol for you who may resonate with you in some way, shape or form or you like, uh, then that's a confirmation for you. There are some female figures around you in spirit or in real 3D world who uh, has your back, who stands by you, supports you, okay, who understands you in and out, people that you don't need to explain anymore, all right? 
um, you you just know who you are Piscean it, it's like you truly have gone through each zodiac each lessons of each zodiac to be in the Piscean the 12th house right those fish the two fish in these two cups right who knows to swim within their own dimension creating a peace and harmony for themselves and for others at the same time creating always thinking about creating always you know because she is full of abundance and um, full of life within her right she is abandons herself so this is what i feel for you piscean that you have come to an energy right now while you are watching me while you are hearing me out you absolutely are just an amazing being know that my dear beautiful piscean all right you are an amazing being i don't know lately i have been getting really very positive energy for piscean you know i got the most uh, uh watch views for piscean reading only and in that reading also the title that i gave gave was once you thought was lost is all coming back to you if you want you can watch that reading guys so piscean what i feel is that your life is completely balanced out within your heart body mind soul with the five elements five sensory organs uh, you know uh, you just see everything clearly people sees you as to how you are you are just the x factor for everyone and nobody would like to miss an opportunity on you if it comes to job if it comes to love if it comes to uh, kind of you, you are a person that uh, it will be hard for somebody to reject let me put it this way so if you have been going through pain lately or in the couple of years in the past that uh, people rejects you then this is a confirmation for you that when you feel that everything has been now closed out that's one when our father in heaven has a different way to work all together right when you think that everything is finished that's when there is always a new beginning so i believe that there is a new beginning awaiting you in case of uh, love romance passion uh, new uh, creation you know this empress will create her own kingdom you know she truly don't need anybody you know it, she is a oh, wow i mean kudos guys uh, amazing reading to be honest guys amazing reading uh, i hope it resonated with you all guys please do take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest and i hope i have touched base of every reading let me just recollect I'm sorry if I have missed out on any of the reading, okay, guys. I mean, I hope I have touched each and every zodiac if I am not mistaken. All right. So this is just uh, my, uh, you know, free guidance to you, all of you. I would appreciate if you just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That will be a truly, truly, um, you know, uh, a lot of contribution from your end. One subscription of yours really means a lot to me, my dear uh, soul family. Please don't uh, hesitate to leave a subscri uh, subscription to my channel, all right? Please do subscribe to my channel. And I thank you so very much for uh, visiting my channel, for tuning in. I hope it resonated with you. And please do take the positive energies with you, all right? And uh, surrender negative energies to the universe and pray that uh, let there be light all the time, all right? All right. Thank you so very much, guys. You stay blessed. Om Namah Shivai. Until we meet again, do take care.